Hey everybody, it is Ed, and today's video, we are going to, well, if you saw the thumbnail, 1957, Elvis' Christmas album came out. Now, this happens to be an original pressing that I do have in my collection. Unfortunately, it is not mint condition, uh, but it is in pretty nice condition. Now, one of the, the main things with the condition of this album of course, the record itself is the spine of the album. Uh, very difficult to come across copies that have the spine that are still completely intact with no tears or ripping or anything else because of the way that the binding was done uh, to hold the gatefold together uh, because inside this was a gatefold and there was a booklet of photos inside. However, I'm not going to open to show you because this is very delicate and the more you open it up that's what causes the spine damage so therefore uh it is an original and there's what the back cover looks like and this is what the album looks like with the um labels loc was it designated number for this, or letters rather, with the following number of 1035. So, original pressing, very, very hard to come by in mint condition. If you do, most likely it's going to cost you. Um, of course, like I said, this is not in mint, mint condition at all, but uh, as far as the cover goes, one of the nicest that I've come across in person for, you know, reasonable money, all right? And then, 1971, Elvis then released the, uh, sing, oh, I'm sorry, Elvis Sings, The Wonderful World of Christmas. This has been a staple in my listening, as well as the first album, ever since I can remember. Uh, you know, as a child, every Christmas, these albums would be played. Now, this is before CDs, so we were listening to the actual albums. This is my father's original. It originally, initially came with a postcard, uh, which I unfortunately do not have, but there you have it. So now, I have these original pressings, plus countless other CD pressings, which I, I didn't gather together for this because I just figured it would be too much. Um, now, now we have... This happens to be the Walmart exclusive. Now, there is a regular edition released as well, but this is through Sony Legacy. And this is likened under or after the UK uh, original pressings because that is the UK symbol or logo for RCA back in the day. All right, and this happens to be an exclusive. Uh, not quite sure if it is limited edition or not, but... Uh, I have some reason I'm having a, a, a feeling that this will probably pop up around every Christmas time. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm uh, I'm wrong or not. But this was found at Walmart and this uh, was about $25 prior to tax being charged. All right, but this one, they do list the songs on the back and it is not a gatefold. I repeat, it is not a gatefold. It is just a single sleeve uh, with a green vinyl label, uh, uh, sorry, vinyl inside with the, uh, looks like, like I said, a UK original, but it is not original. So we have that. And then, then they also released Elvis Sings the Wonderful World of Christmas, or I should say re-released. And um, yeah, so we'll see what happens with this. However, a uh, very, very reasonable price. $22 prior to tax. And here we have the back cover. So it shows recent releases. So we have the On Tour box set. We have the El uh, Aloha from Hawaii. And we have the Christmas album. So like I said, the Christmas album was also released on black vinyl. All right. And I'm assuming that this is black vinyl as well. I did not get this at Walmart. This I got at my local record store. And there you have it. So... 
why oops <laughs> why why did i do this why why did i go out and and bother to even get this and this you know when when i already had uh, and find copies of this and this that i can always listen to and already do you know i mean chances are these are digital masters and um which, you know, again, I, I really have no problem with digital masters on, on vinyl because for the most part, I think they sound amazing if they're done correctly or, you know, uh, again, it, it's a whole, it, it, it's very subjective and, and everybody has their feeling about it. But I just, best way I can put it is I don't feel I have bionic hearing to really differentiate every pithy nuance that is, you know, output through my speaker so but that's me so yeah elvis sings the wonderful world of christmas repress and elvis's christmas album repress if you like in you can get this like i said through walmart or walmart.com i would guess uh and this you can get on amazon as well and as far as the originals i would say that if you're really interested in grabbing originals then i would check um you know ebay something like that all right i don't know i don't even know if i'm gonna open these to play them i, I mm, let me know what you think if you would like leave me a comment all right but i do appreciate you and um good to yourselves good to each other take care